When it comes to getting from point A to point B, you've got your traditional modes of transportation. Cars, bicycles, motorbikes, and a few variations in between. But you might be surprised to find out that that's not the only way to get around. Mopeds have never been the most stylish or sophisticated way to get around. Still, with the Segway eMoped C80, the humble moped may finally have a shot. Segway Incorporated is best known for, well, inventing the Segway, but they've spent the last 20 years branching out into other two-wheeled modes of transportation. This latest business venture is a sleek-looking smart Segway, with cutting-edge features such as a smart anti-theft mechanism, mobile app integration, and auto cruise. But they haven't taken reliability out of the equation. A 24 amp hour lithium ion battery rated at 1,152 watt hours of energy can take you on a journey of up to 52.8 miles on a single charge. But I think it's time we segue into our next pick. While it's not your typical mode of transport, special mention has to go to the Lumo personal robot. I think we can all agree that having a robot companion is kind of nice, but Lumo doubles up as a Segway, meaning you can walk or ride off into the sunset with your AI-powered, hopefully not sentient, robot friend. In development by a Brooklyn-based startup, the clip can be attached to any bicycle, converting it into an e-bike. It assists the user in pedaling, alleviating the most taxing part of riding a bike. This makes it perfect to use on those big hills or after leg day at the gym. When it's released later this year, it's sure to make for a convenient, portable, and cheap alternative to a full-blown e-bike. With a 10-15 to 15 mile range and charge time of 40 minutes, the clip affords you bragging rights about biking to work each day, with less effort on your part. Our next pick, the City Q, is a four-wheeled electric bicycle that feels and functions just like a car. As cities continue to struggle with traffic problems, the City Q will allow you to bypass all roads, if you live in Europe, that is. The Oslo-based City Q is a front-runner in weather-protected bicycles, and the City Q will hopefully extend that legacy. Despite its car-like appearance, it is compliant with European regulations for e-bikes, as the driver has to pedal. With the City Q, you can transport others, carry additional luggage, and be protected from the weather during your biking experience. It's developed for daily urban commuting and is designed to drive on both car and bike lanes. But remember to pedal hard if you're in a car lane. I mean, I personally wouldn't want to be stuck behind that thing. The 2021 Spider F3 Limited by Can-Am is a three-wheeled motorcycle designed to be a more robust and comfortable alternative to a traditional motorbike. The third wheel provides more stability and a more effortless driving experience. Keeping the perks of being able to zip between cars in traffic while reducing the risk of you falling over and breaking your neck. However, you may break your neck if you look at the 7.8 inch wide LCD color display while driving. Yeah, that's right, there's an LCD display in this thing. The Rotax 1300 Ace engine is another big selling point. It's efficient, powerful, and extremely low maintenance. If it'll fill the three wheeled motorcycle shaped hole in your heart, then it's probably for you. The Mark 8 Dry Cycle is a fully enclosed pedal cycle from Dry Cycle Limited with all the bells and whistles. Dry Cycle Limited is a UK based company, so it's pretty self evident why they make a bike that protects you from the rain. It's legally an electrically assisted pedal cycle, so you can be the biggest flexor at your local bike track, but it meets all the requirements for use on the road. Some of its cutting edge features include a crash and endurability tested framework, LED lights, reflectors, a smart alarm system, a secure locking system, and a GPS tracking system. It'll also get you where you need to be with a 50 mile range on a 2.5 hour charging time. If you have a mountain between you and your place of work, this is the mode of transport for you. The mountain cart 4x4 is being developed by EV4, a company based in Warsaw, Poland. While from some angles it looks like the shell of a car from the early 1900s, it'll get you over any terrain you can throw at it. It sports 20-inch wheels with motorcycle tires powered by a 2500-watt direct drive for a 75-mile-per-charge range. Its four spring shocks help smooth out bumps, and its hydraulic brakes will come in handy if you find yourself speeding towards a cliff. Definitely not for the faint-hearted.
Moving on to an innovative taxi replacement, the P1 and P2 platform being developed in Tel Aviv, Israel, promises the next generation of e-mobility. REE Automotive is an electric platform leader, reinventing e-mobility. These platforms provide excellent flexibility due to their detachability and endless range of motors, gearboxes, brakes, and steering systems. REE Automotive boasts that they can turn these things into just about anything. It really is the perfect custom e-vehicle base, something that other smaller manufacturers can use to develop new models and designs. The P4, P6, and P7 will also be available, fulfilling the role of delivery trucks due to their ability to handle heavier loads. And with AI self-driving cars just around the corner, we could be seeing a revolution in custom self-driving utility vehicles very soon. Next up is the Screecher from Sunox. Despite its somewhat misleading name, this innovative cycle doesn't make a loud screeching noise. However, it is an environmentally friendly solar-assisted pedal cycle that can go 0 to 15 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. The large roof and utility tray mounted solar panels feed power into a 48-volt lithium-ion battery in just 6 hours. Or you can opt for a 4-hour charge by plugging it into a standard power outlet. Out of all the vehicles on this list, the Screecher has the lowest carbon footprint if you rely entirely on solar power. The downside to this is, cloudy conditions will render this vehicle useless. A rider can expect to travel about 20 miles in normal conditions. Its four-wheel drive capabilities allow it to adjust to different types of terrain. Sunox claims that the Screecher will be distributed worldwide, from retirement homes in Florida to the mountains of China. So if you're okay with riding what looks like a solar-powered golf cart, this could be worth checking out. At number 2 is the SUS-1 by Stillride. The SUS-1 started its life as a government-funded research project and is now being designed in partnership with product development company Semcom. Stillride is taking what it claims is an eco-friendly approach to electric scooters, building the SUS-1 out of folded stainless steel sheets. As you can see, the SUS-1 is very stylish and futuristic, sporting a metallic black look. If that's not your style though, let me introduce the vintage Stillride which would blend in perfectly on the streets of Italy. A full range of specs have yet to be announced though, and with Stillride tentatively planning a release sometime in 2022 or 2023, this is definitely one to keep an eye out for. The Spacebar, being developed by Catalis in Indonesia, is a foldable utility scooter with a surprising amount of speed, power, and function for its blocky shape. Apparently inspired after the Hondo Moto Campo from the early 80s, the Spacebar's handlebars fold down, and the entire moped can fit in the trunk of a car for easy transport. It is definitely as stylish as it is useful, rocking a blocky, metallic, futuristic design. The lightweight aluminium frame is decked out with railings and platforms to carry luggage, groceries, or cargo. According to Catalis, the spacebar takes its name from the spacebar on a computer keyboard, making space between words as it darts through busy streets. Despite being small in size, it packs a punch with a 1200-watt electric motor. Julian Palapa, the principal designer of Catalis, says, It is small but fierce, like a piece of chili. This is the forte of Catalis. You only need to look at the anime-inspired EV500 and EV1056 to see that. 